So welcome to our gastry. So we just had uh, uh, the, the visit at Limina. How was uh, how was it? How what is your general impression? So our, our we're, we're the Australian bishops here for our ad limina, and we started with a mass at St Peter's mm -hmm. at his tomb, and then a meeting with Peter's successor. So we started with the meeting with Pope Francis mm -hmm. uh, on Monday, and it was a two and a half hour, very beautiful and deep conversation. It was just a simple conversation. Uh, uh, him hearing from us, we exchanging with him and sharing of our, our thoughts with him and his thoughts with us. It was very beautiful. Two and a half hours. Wow. Amazing, amazing. And now we're making our way through the visits to the various dicasteries, including today, to um, laity, family, family and life. life. We've just finished our, con our conversation together. So that, as you know, went for, I think we talked for about an hour and a half. And half. Yes. And we uh, were able to share a little bit of our experience from Australia, particularly around marriage and family life and the involvement of women in the life of the church. Those two particular issues were, were consumed much, much of our time, but also we were able to hear from you some of the perspectives. Uh, yeah, so it was a wonderful exchange. Oh, great. And uh, can you say something, uh, can you tell us something about specifically about family and about women. One of the main topics we, we talked about mm. was family and, uh, and women. Yes. So in terms of family, our Australian experience, mm. as you heard, is quite similar to a lot of the rest of the Western world. There is a, a loss of Christian marriage uh, and uh, engagement within family life, mm -hmm. but there are also opportunities to start afresh yes. and to, 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 to rebuild our understanding of uh, the value of, of, of marriage, uh, of two people coming together to seek uh, in love and in life and for permanency and so on, uh, but also in terms of families then. And in our discussions, and the Cardinal was particularly uh, keen to understand this of the importance of starting, restarting ourselves uh, in the evangelization in our local communities, but from a family perspective. Mm -hmm. And to, it's, the emphasis shouldn't be on the 40s and 50s and 60 year olds, mm -hmm. but on those young people and their young families and to rebuild again, like a renaissance mm -hmm. of marriage and family life. In terms of the role of the laity and women particularly, that was also a topic. And the two words that, that, that were significant that I heard was working towards co-responsibility. That whether you're male or female, a cleric or a layperson, that all of us together have a, a responsibility and a complementarity, each bringing different gifts, to be able to uh, develop the life of the church and to do so in a way that is responsible and can also build leadership. Each bringing their own gifts, but doing it in a way that is, that is not always on the hierarchy, but on everyone uh, being involved in the life of the church. Yes, you had a good example this morning with our two under secretaries who are women. Indeed, so uh, we insisted that, that we model something of that co-responsibility in our meeting and ask them to speak into the issues that are, that are important. In our Australian context too, we, we see the, uh, there are many, many women, even in, for instance in my own example of Melbourne, where there are many women who have roles of leadership fa fairly significantly in the management of, of the life of the, of the Archdiocese in particular areas, but we need to also move into the governance questions as well and that there's a lot of work to be done in that area particularly. 